What's up, I'm Jordan Peele, and this is my horror tournament. This is a weird thing they convinced me to do, and it's, uh, I'm definitely gonna be pissing off a lot of horror fans here because I'm gonna be rating films and trying to come up with my favorite film uh, systematically like it's sports. We got The Shining, we got The Birds, we got Friday 13th, Halloween, Let the Right One In, Funny Games Under the Skin, Nightmare on Elm Street Martyrs, Babadook, Chainsaw Massacre, It Follows, Poltergeist, and Dead Again. Okay, let's start at the top. Shining and The Birds. Why you do this to me? That's so hard. Um, I'm gonna say The Shining um, because uh, quite frankly, it just, it scares me more. Um, the, the twins, the shower scene, um, that it has like my favorite shot in all of horror when Shelley Duvall's running with the knife outside of uh, the, the, the snow covered overlook. So The Shining wins, sorry, the birds masterpiece. Okay, Friday the 13th versus Halloween. Um, that's an easy one for me. John Carpenter's Halloween, um, it's elegant. It's terrifying, the scene when she looks out the window and she sees Mike My Michael Myers like across the street and, it's, and you just see his face, but you could miss it. Um, it, it iconic horror scene. So um, let's move to uh, Let the Right One In or Funny Games. Um, two masterpieces, Funny Games, too messed up for me. I can't, I can't do it, I, I, like, I could only watch it once. It was so powerful, but Let the Right One In it's, it's one of the most beautiful uh, horror movies of all time. Also, possibly the greatest shot in horror history, which is something I think I'm gonna be saying a lot. The shot, uh, of course, when, when, when the, uh, in, in the pool, when all the kids get killed by uh, the vampire. Spoiler. Okay, um, let the right one in. So, uh, next we've got Under the Skin and Scream. Oof, two completely different films. Uh, Scream, uh, Wes Craven, true master, iconic. Um, I have to say, Under the Skin, for me, is a special film. It has one of those aesthetics that, as a filmmaker, you watch, you're like, how did uh, Jonathan Glazer even do that? Everything looks so um, specific. The photography is so beautiful. That movie has a perfect score, Under the Skin. Okay, A Nightmare on Elm Street or Martyrs. This one is... It's not easy, but it's easy. I love Martyrs. If you can't handle messed up movies, don't see it. It will jack you up. But Nightmare on Elm Street is uh, just, it's iconic. It goes down with uh, Alien for me as probably the best um, design of any horror movie in history. Um, the, the Freddy Krueger character design is, is a villain that you know that's that's a special kind of boogeyman that you know I don't I don't I don't think we've we've come close to since. So, Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, I'm 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 falling behind. I'm falling behind. The Babadook Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm gonna get slammed for this one. I'm gonna get murdered for this one. But you know the Babadook Texas Chainsaw Massacre is good. It's just it's got to be your taste. You got to like that gritty, um, dirty, um, uncomfortable thing. Um, I like it, but not as much as I like The Babadook by Jennifer Kent. Um, it, it was just uh, a, a movie about something different than it was about, and it scared the pants off of me. It scared the pants. Okay, It Follows or Poltergeist. It Follows um, uh, it comes in the lead for me. Poltergeist, hot take, mm, not that good. Oh, he said it. No, I love Poltergeist. I love the aesthetic of it. Um, a little bit more boring to me than it follows. I know that's 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 gonna that's gonna kill me. But that being said, my new movie Us coming out soon is very influenced by Poltergeist. So hopefully, I, I won back some of that cred right there. Dead Again or Jaws? I love Dead Again. It's a special movie. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. But come on, that's Jaws. Okay. Final brackets, The Shining versus Halloween. Ooh, that's, okay. Shining's gonna make it. I know this is like, this is probably like a 50-50 answer for horror fans, is The Shining versus Halloween. I'm a Shining guy, you know, I shout out to The Shining a couple more times than I do Halloween in my films. So I'm gonna go by that. Um, all right, here we go. This is Let the Right One In or Under the Skin. Yo, this is fun. Um, I'm gonna say under the skin. Um, Woo-wee. Uh, just because, once again, like uh, there's some things in that movie 
that I just feel like are so visually intense and captivating that uh, it, it's, it's just one I feel like I could watch a hundred times and never really get to the bottom of it. And I love that. Okay, Nightmare on Elm Street or The Babadook. I'm sorry, Babadook, but Nightmare on Elm Street, maybe, maybe in a few years you will uh, rise to that uh, iconic status, but you know, Nightmare on Elm Street kept me awake for you know, 10 years of my life. Um, it Follows or Jaws. Um, can you imagine how, how creamed I would be by the internet if I put It Follows above Jaws? I mean, Jaws is uh, you know, debatably the greatest movie of any genre of all time, so let's go there. All right, here we go. We're getting to the bottom of it. Um, Under the Skin or The Shining. Well, that's cool. Um, all right, let's go Shining, right? I think, um, I think Jonathan Glazer would agree. Um, the, the Shining, Kubrick, just the most haunting work ever. Nightmare on Elm Street or Jaws? Ooh. Ooh. This is, okay, this is a horror board. I think A Nightmare on Elm Street is a more pure horror film. I think it deserves to um, be in the running for the, 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 the big prize here. And finally, we've got the face off. Shining, Nightmare on Elm Street. Ooh, what are the criteria? What do you do? How do you do it? I'm gonna go with the greatest horror villain of all time, Freddy Krueger. Let's just do it. Let's just say it. Nightmare on Elm Street, greatest horror movie of all time. And I learned that today. Oh, you people.